today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today we're going to take a closer look at one of my favorite photo books. This is Family Portraits by Mike Blayback. This came out in 2019 and this celebrates 25 years of shooting skateboarding. Specifically portraits of the people within skateboarding and the family that that's created. I've been a fan of Mike Blayback's for many, many years. Uh, early on when I got into skateboarding and I started subscribing to skate magazines, there were so many photos that jumped out to me and I immediately fell in love with them, but I didn't realize who even shot the photo. Uh, years later, I would realize that Mike shot so many of those favorite photos of mine. And the magazines were full of great skate photography, but this book in particular focuses on the portraits and the photos of the people within skateboarding, not while they're actually on their board. And those were the kind of photos that really stood out to me early on. As I was kind of finding my own style and my own voice, those were the photos that I really gravitated towards, and it gave me a, a deeper sense of appreciation for portrait work where at the time I was just shooting photos of anything and everything, my friends hanging out, skating, just kind of documenting, seeing the photos that, you know, they would shoot portraits for a skateboarder while they were being interviewed for the magazine or the candid portraits while they were on tour, those kind of things really made me look at photography a lot differently. I think any photographer is gonna be able to pick up this book and look at it and appreciate the work that's in it. You don't have to have experience in skateboarding or love for skateboarding to appreciate the photos because just as portraits, these are really, really strong photos. There are tons of photos in here that date back to the mid to late 90s, but at the same time, there are a lot of photos that were made in preparation for this book, kind of updated photos of some of these people that he's been shooting photos of, again, for over 20 years. So many of these portraits that are made within this book, especially those, again, that are later on and kind of for this book, they have such a unique look to them in the world of skateboarding because you don't normally see skateboarders photographed in this way. Black and white, high contrast, really, really good use of light. Anytime I see one of these photos of Mike's, whether it be scrolling through Instagram or flipping through a magazine, I can immediately connect it to Mike's work because he's really dialed in a very specific look. On top of that, film photographers are gonna love this book because there is so much variety in here. Everything from 35 millimeter to 120 to four x five to instant film. Everything is represented here, so film photographers are just gonna naturally kind of nerd out on this kind of stuff. But I love seeing spreads like this where you have a contact sheet and the final chosen photo here. And I love studying contact sheets. There's so much you can learn from in terms of, you know, the sequence of the photos. You can see how the photographer moved as they were kind of getting closer or maybe backing up. You often get to see a lot of outtakes as well, which is a lot of fun. And this spread in particular of Lance Mountain is one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites in the book is this photo of Josh Kalis and Stevie Williams at Love Park. Very iconic place in skateboarding. And the quote from Josh Kalis to go with it is absolutely perfect and sums up skateboarding entirely. That's another thing I love about the book. You know, the book is called Family Portraits and it's just full of this really diverse group of people and that's exactly what skateboarding is. Again, I think any photographer is gonna be able to look at the portraits here and appreciate the work itself, but that underlying theme of family within skateboarding, that's what holds it all together. There's just such a strong sense of camaraderie and family within skateboarding that you don't really see so much in other cultures or demographics, and it's portrayed perfectly in the book. Another one of my favorite things is in the back of the book, you have all of these behind the scenes photos of Mike as he's shooting so many of the photos in the book. Some of the photos in here you see kind of behind the scenes as he's shooting, so you can see the lighting set up and everything there, but you also see photos of him with the people that he's taking photos of, and you get that sense of that relationship he has with people that again, he's been shooting photos of for 25 years now. And that's how it's always been. Photographers have played such an important part in skateboarding that Anybody, any group of people, if you've been a skateboarder, you know who the person was in your group. I was that person in my group who always had the camera, whether it be shooting stills or filming. There's a mutual level of respect there that's really hard to explain, but I think these photos capture that perfectly. Cannot recommend this book enough. Honestly, it's one of my favorite books in the collection. The work is great, the printing is beautiful. It's this really nice hardback linen cover. Everything about the book is top notch and it's one of my favorites. So if you're interested in picking up a copy, there will be a link in the description. However, Mike has offered to give one of these away to one of you guys. If you're interested in winning a copy, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and I'll pick a random comment in two weeks. However, the winner does have to be a US resident. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 restrictions and shipping in some areas is limited, we do have to limit it to US shipping only. I apologize for that, but if you are a US resident and you'd like 
like to win a copy, again, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and we'll pick a random winner in two weeks. Also, Mike is giving away a limited edition autographed print of Lance Mountain over on my Instagram. So head over to at Matt Day Photo and there will be a post all about that and how you can enter to win that print. Incredibly nice of Mike to give one of these prints away. It's one of my favorite portraits in the book, the fact that he's giving away an autographed print. I'm very, very excited about that. So definitely check that out over on Instagram if you're interested in that as well. Of course, I'd love to hear any thoughts you guys have in the comments down below, and I also want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsor today, which is Squarespace. If you guys have been here for any amount of time, I'm sure you've heard me talk about Squarespace because they've been a sponsor of the channel for several years now, but I was using their service way before that because they really are the best all-in-one platform to build a great looking website. They have so many different templates to choose from, it's extremely easy to customize, and if you ever need help with anything, they have 24-7 award-winning customer service. From getting your domain, having a place to show off your work or have clients reach out to you or just having an online store as well, Squarespace has everything you need all in one place. If you want to try Squarespace out, you can do so entirely free at squarespace.com with a free trial. However, if you're ready to get signed up, I can save you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain by going to squarespace.com slash mattday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in the giveaways, leave a comment down below and head over to Instagram for the print giveaway. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. We have new videos every Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but that is it for today. So thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.